One day, when this chipper lad was rummaging through some old boxes like a desperate raccoon, Whoa! What part of this screams desperate raccoon? He found an unusual box with a Polaroid camera in it, no less. One of those instant film ones from over 30 years ago. Unfortunately, to his dismay, the camera wouldn't work no matter how hard he tried. This is the problem with film cameras these days. The older they get, the more likely they are to be broken, which will be important later when Mason finds himself in yet another film adventure of even grander scale. So I'd buckle up, Buttercup. It did look cool though on the shelf. About eight months later, he found himself mindlessly scrolling away on YouTube. It's not mindless, it's educational. Right, educational, like nearly every other youngster claims. And he came across a Peter McKinnon video talking about him starting film again. And the boy thought, Hold on. If he can do it, I can do it. Completely forgetting about the atrocious expense of film, being about $15 a roll. Nonetheless, he hopped, skipped, and jumped onto Facebook Marketplace for the curiosity's sake. And to his surprise, there was a recent post. To my surprise, too. For a film camera that looks stunning. And it was Canon for $50. The Canon part is important because he has a brainless loyalty to the brand. Whoa, it's not, it's not brainless. And I can explain. You see, what happened? However, there is an evident problem in his myths. Film cameras are a treacherous slope on the used market. And you're not gonna find them new because no one really makes them new anymore. They're nearly 100% mechanical, and if there's any problem with light leaking in, which is how film works, you have some chemical plastic, basically, and when light hits it, it creates a photo. So if light leaks in, well, you're donezo. Or if there's some other piece that's not moving, also bad news bears. This specific camera is called the Canon FTBQL and was released in 1973. So safe to say this thing is incredibly old being just about as old as me. And the odd of there being some seal preventing light leakage that had rotted away were not in his favor. The boy had hope though. The boy asked if he could check it out and he agreed to pay cash and he was unfortunately hit with bad news. The seller was out of town until Wednesday at noon, and someone was already coming to check out the camera on Thursday. Things were looking grim. He asked, though, if Wednesday could work in early afternoon, and they agreed. The lad was ecstatic. He hooped, hollered with joy. This was going to be such a wonderful opportunity. Now people would say he had a vintage style and was retro. Who knew being old was so rad and cool? Not me. <laughs> so, after patiently waiting until the day came, it was like three days and he had no patience, it was incredible. He drove like a typical driver, nothing special. He didn't miss their driveway though three times and had to ask a state park officer if he could turn around <laughs> that accent change. <laughs> howdy, how can I help you? Oh, hey, howdy, do you mind if I just turn my car around real quick? Is that cool? Nah, sorry, no can do. Oh, oh, uh, mm. oh, okay. Now I'm just pulling your leg, don't worry about it. Just get yourself down the hill and have a great afternoon. Oh, sweet, uh, you got me there, you got me there. Yeah, thank you, have a great afternoon too. They had an absolutely gorgeous home though when he finally made it, where he was interrupted mid-stride by an old man by a pool. Even though he was sitting down, the man had his cane positioned in such a manner that implied he meant business. And on the table next to him was a camera bag. Oh, hi there, lad. Are you the one by chance looking for the film camera? Turns his head distractedly. Oh, shoot. Hey, what's up? Yeah, howdy, that's me. Oh, come on, come on over. Take a look, come take a look. It's right here. Come, don't dilly-dally. Awesome, thanks for letting me take a look. All right, let's see what we got here. It was beautiful and the manuals were in perfect condition, Mason thought. He fiddles around with the lens cap trying to get it off in other parts of the camera and like an absolute fool drops it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you doing all right there? Looks like you're struggling a bit. Uh, yeah, sure, um, yes, uh, I'm doing, yeah, great, um, no, don't worry, I'm sorry. Oh, I forgot to mention, that's me, by the way. Oh, by the way, what do you think of my kicks? I found them at the local Foot Locker for about 20 quid. Oh, yeah, those are, those are swag. 
Yeah, I think they're pretty swag too. I'm sorry to interrupt, so you have to keep going. He did ask though. Um, so when was the last time you used this? Oh yes, yes. So right before, you know, COVID, right before that hit, I used it up until then. So maybe 2019. I just haven't been able to go on trips anymore because of the quarantine. So I'm just, I don't need it anymore. But I, I think it works. It worked then. For a $50 camera from 1970s, that's incredible. Let me just tell you, I was giving him a fantastic deal. No way, really? Oh my gosh. Oh wow, okay. Great. Sounds wonderful to me. Yep, yeah, let me just, yeah. No, I think, yeah, I can, I got $50 right here. Yeah, let's go. Just great doing business with you. The boy didn't even try to negotiate, which honestly was a bit of a foolish move. I mean, I was giving him a good deal, but he should at least make an effort to save himself some money. Goodness gracious. Come on, cut me some slack. Just, <laughs> I just won big. I just won big. You don't deserve slack on this one, buddy. It was wonderful doing business with you. I hope you enjoy the camera. Good luck, champ. Uh, have a wonderful afternoon. <laughs> Thank you. Now to test if the camera actually worked. The only way to do it, though, was to buy film, take pictures, and then you would have to pay to get it processed by professional. It's a bit of a gamble, if you ask me. And you wouldn't believe the place he first took pictures. A NASCAR race. Although, in fairness, he actually had an absolute blast, and honestly, it looked like a good time, so I kind of wish I went too. He shot in both film and digitally, which kind of was a bit nuts, because imagine, it's like reading two books, basically, and watching a movie at the same time. I would imagine that's a bit hard to do, but he, he did it masterfully. Pretty good pictures, if you ask me. He hadn't gotten them processed yet, though, so we, we obviously don't know at this point what the photos look like. Then the lad took it up on a trip to the coast, to a little place called Jug Handle, and shot another roll. Honestly, pretty sick spot. If I were to guess, he loves the coast, and probably the ocean too, but I'm pretty sure he makes that incredibly clear. And then, when he returned home from his voyage, the moment was finally upon him. He had to go pay to get it processed. Ah, uh, he was not scot-free yet. So he sent it off to a professional and got it back within a week. It's pretty good, actually. It's good turnaround time. He also made the minor mistake of not paying to get the film scanned. So when he got the film, he had to take pictures of it with his camera, then toss it into his editing software, and then manually invert each image and guess what the colors were. If I were him, I would have just spent the 40 bucks for the 36 photos and called it a day. And honestly, the colors aren't too bad. They're a bit of shabby if you ask me, but could be way worse. The interesting part is where he takes his photos next. Goodness gracious. He took it, to, he went to Alaska and he still hasn't gotten the processed. I, I'm sitting here at my chair recording this for the bloody lad and he hasn't got the process yet it's been about two months enjoy his video enjoy it this accent is changing up so much <laughs> that's crazy the man was actually super nice i just added a little pizzazz to keep his stack <laughs> based on a true story based on a true story it is like 95 percent true except I will say the old man did not narrate over the experience live. So, <laughs> it is a reenactment. That would be pretty cool, though. <laughs>